I began my journey in learning about human trafficking after reading an article, and I couldn't believe that I didn't know that human trafficking was happening and that over 40 million people are enslaved today. Um, at that time, they were saying 27 million people, but um, you hear there are that many people affected and you think there's nothing I can possibly do. So I started partnering with organizations and asking what I could do and um, trying to support them in any way I, I could. And um, they all told me they needed help raising awareness. I created this work called the Red Sand Project. And the idea is to bring conversations about human trafficking into public dialogue, literally out onto the streets. So you take red sand and you put it in a sidewalk crack on the street and you look silly doing it. So people ask, what are you doing? And it starts a conversation about human trafficking, which they don't think they're going to be having when they see someone <laughs> on the street putting red sand in a sidewalk crack. And the sidewalk cracks were a perfect metaphor for um, human trafficking because it's about addressing the vulnerabilities that lead to exploitation. So it takes the conversation and moves it more deeply and it localizes it. Sidewalk cracks are everywhere. The project's been done in all 50 states, over 70 countries, and I've yet to found a, find a city that doesn't have a sidewalk crack. Well, I think having the coffee shop is a really helpful way for people to think about it because it thinks about how their everyday action, buying a cup of coffee, relates to something much bigger and we're all part of a network and every action that we take every day affects other people and um, so with the sidewalk cracks I'm asking people to be mindful of things that we overlook and people overlook where they get their coffee or their chocolate or their socks <laughs> you know so um, so asking people to be mindful about all those things where, where you get your everything and sometimes it feels like you're not making progress but like these little grains of sand add up and they transform the sidewalk crack. So all of our actions, they might seem inconsequential alone, but when they're put together, they add up and they can be transformative. Please pick up a Red Sand Project packet um, at Second Cup. And if you can't get to Second Cup, get to Second Cup. <laughs> if you can't, go on redsandproject.org and order a packet. We'd love to have your information just so we know who's part of this network and join the network, um, join the fight saying that you care about ending modern day slavery by hashtagging Red Sand Project. So not only do the project, but hashtag Red Sand Project, post your photo to Instagram or any social networking site. And if you don't have Red Sand, just post a picture of any crack. You don't need to have the Red Sand in it. We need numbers to show that there's a movement and that people care about ending slavery.